Hello, I'm going to do a video today on labeling, so manual labeling. This is a single part beam I've created. It's just a front view and a bottom view, which should be enough uh, for the company I'm sending this to. Now, uh, sometimes I might create a top view of this. So what I'm going to do here is I have the gauges marked down here for the bottom holes and the top holes. But I'm going to mark the gauges on this also. So if I do insert label and select this, it's coming in no name. So whatever label is set to, it's it's set to name for the hole, and there is no name for that hole. So what we want to do is we want to change that. So now when I started using these labels, I could never get this to work, and I eventually figured it out. So we want to go to holes, all objects, and we we'll just select, there's nothing here for gauge line. So what I'll do is, I'll just pick name and copy it. And I want to copy it to gauge. And we'll name that gauge and it'll bring me back to the start. And then go back in, go to holes and gauge. And then we want to go in here. I want this to be GA for gauge, a dot, sorry, a full stop, and uh, we want to do gauge, and we want the leader line, yes, and apply that change, then what we want to do is just click on another one, and what the other one, what that'll do is, it, it seems to activate it, even though I've already applied it, so go back in here, apply, okay, and then I'll do multiple. So I'll pick this set of holes, this set of holes, and we just test it. And you can see there's a gauge lines come in there. So what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll just do the rest of them, and I'll do M for multiple. Select these holes. Select these holes. Now what I should do after this is go into my drawing style and set this up so that these come in automatically. So there's all the gauges that will help them out if the guy just wants to look at the front view. So it's ideally I could get rid of this view now if I wanted to. And that should be enough information for them to complete the job. Uh, what I would need is the hole sizes here, but they're typical hole sizes. So. But I like to call out all the holes sometimes. But that's okay. All right. So hopefully that will help anyone that's struggling with the labeling like I used to do. All right, take care. Bye-bye.